Hello! Uh, so, I figured it would be very helpful to have a guide for how to get to Pearson. Uh, it's probably been like three weeks since any of you looked at it, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, the first step is, of course, just to go to the one login. You're going to have to log in. Remember, your username is whatever your username is, and your password is whatever your password is. Those shouldn't have changed at all. Then um, you get logged in. After you get logged in, you should have something that looks somewhat similar to this. It might be a little bit different. But you're going to click on the button that says Pearson Realize. I'm uh, hovering over it with my mouse. It loads up. You're going to click on Pearson Realize again. Your page is going to look a little bit different just because you're going to be on the student version of this. And then you should see your three uh, options. Browse you're probably not going to need unless you want to look at the uh, workbook. Uh, all the assignments I'm going to be giving you are going to be under Classes. So you're going to click on Classes. You should only have one of these four things, uh, but since I, again, have the teacher version, I have all four. Um, and then you're going to click on Assignments. In here, you should be able to find all of your assignments. Um, anything that I've assigned to you for the week should be in here. Um, and that's all you gotta do. You might have something that looks like this, where it's a lesson 5-6, for example. You click on that, and then you'll be able to go into it and uh, look at all of the things I've assigned for you. And that's all you gotta do. So hopefully that made sense. Uh, let me know if it, you have any other questions.